Center in EHT is where everyone's lawn and garden should begin. Family owned and operated since 1964. Stop in and see what we have to offer. Visit bobsgardencenter.com or follow us on Facebook. Happy Friday, everyone. Meteorologist Brittany Trumpy here. I hope you got to enjoy our beautiful day out there. It was hot and it was sunny. Just a really sort of 10 out of 10 day. And considering a lot of people think that this weekend is the kickoff to summer, it definitely felt very summer-like out there. And we're going to continue to see that for the next couple of days. We are also tracking the chance for a few hit or miss thunderstorms, but a lot of the moisture that we've been tracking for the next upcoming couple of days has really been pushed into just Monday. So now your Monday forecast is looking a little bit iffy, but at least your Saturday, your Sunday, they look a little bit nicer. It's all about give and take, right? If you want to go outside, either you're dining at a local restaurant and you want to sit outside or you're staying home and you're grilling, enjoying your back patio or your deck, you are good to go. We're going to stay fairly mild, if not warm, temperatures staying in the 80s until just before six o'clock and then a lot of sunshine out there. So beautiful, stunning, great ex excuse to get outside this evening. Overnight tonight, we'll see mostly clear skies, a little bit of some patchy fog out there as we see the temperatures and dew points kind of run into each other. But otherwise, a nice quiet evening and not a lot going on for the rest of the night tonight. Now, here's our setup for the next couple of days. We do have this low pressure sitting down to the south. That's going to continue to move a little bit further away, take a lot of that moisture with it. We do see a substantial amount of moisture moving along this warm front and this cold front during the day Saturday and it kind of takes aim at the East Coast by about Saturday night. However, a lot of that activity is going to run out of steam before it actually reaches the coast. So that's the opportunity for some quick little hit or miss storm Saturday night into early Sunday morning. But again, it's a very, very low chance. Sunday we clear out. We'll see a lot of sunshine out there and then our next round of moisture doesn't arrive until Monday. So while we had that 30-40% chance on Saturday and Sunday, we're now dropping that down to about a 10% chance. So overall, the bulk of your weekend, beautiful, dry, and sunny. Meanwhile, Monday, we've kind of bumped that number up a little bit to 70%. We are looking to see a lot more moisture move in to start off the week. And then for next week, we'll see the shower chances taper off, but we'll also be seeing the temperatures and the humidity taper off as well. Tomorrow will be almost a dead ringer for today as far as temperatures, as far as sunshine, a couple of scattered clouds. It'll even be feeling fairly similar. We saw the dew points fall a little bit, a little less muggy today and for tomorrow. But as we look forward to Sunday and Monday, those dew points will pick up once again. We will be feeling swampy. And then you can see by kind of the mid to end of the week next week, we'll be feeling maybe even dare, dare I say it comfortable as we see those dew points fall off. One of the reasons for that, we're going to see the temperatures falling off as well. We're going to go from above average temperatures to sort of right on the money, if not a little bit below average. So definitely going from summer to feeling kind of spring-like by the end of the week. Now, Monday doesn't look perfect, but Saturday and Sunday look nice. Tuesday, we dry out, and then towards the mid to end of next week, we'll be seeing some cooler weather on the way. Okay, I hope you enjoy the rest of your afternoon. I'll check back in with you later on this evening.